Yeah, we were just cutting up another gamma story. This is the greatest gamma story win lose that Vegas has ever seen. Harry Plattis, the guy I mentioned before, attorney, was in Vegas. I picked him up at the airport and we went out my boat swimming, we come by the pool room. Couldn't get a game. On the other side of town, Bobby Baldwin, who's the president of the whole Steve Wynn Corporation, Mirage, Bellagio, Golden Nugget, etc., world class poker player. Well, he decided he wanted to play some pool because he used to play pool in college. So he walked into a place called the Rum Runner in Vegas, an action bar, bar table. And he went to the owner, Gino, and he says, listen, I'm Bobby Vaughn. He says, yeah, a security guard with him with a briefcase. He says, get me a pool game. He says, I just got to, I'm going to play some pool, man. He says, I got a pool hard on. So Gino calls a couple guys, come in, and he says, well, you want, anyway, long story short, he blows 50000 50000 Bobby did. And he said he had a chance to win. The, well, the game was fine. He shook everybody's hand, bought everybody a drink, and left. And he told Gino, he said, I'll be back tomorrow. So he come back tomorrow with two briefcases, Bobby Bowen. And he said, where's that guy at? Gino said, are you nuts? He got his 25000 went back to Georgia. He said, he ain't going to play the war. He's through. So... They can't find Bobby a game. He said it was two briefcases of money, can't make a ball. So they call the Qtopia, and here is Archie the Greek. They go and wake him up out in his car. Get in there. He calls uh, uh, another little guy, that little rounder that sort of had a bankroll once in a while. I think he had 1500 They go over there to the run runner, and Archie knows Bobby, but he don't know he plays pool, and Bobby knows Archie from the from the poker world, they're both world-class poker players, but neither one of them know the other plays pool. So they decided to play nine ball on a bar table for 500 a game. Well, let me tell you what happened. Two days later, they're playing 50000 a game nine ball on a bar table. That's right, $50,000 a game, cash. And Archie is robbing him. So Archie wins 1200000 That's what he wins. He went from sleep in the car and went to a million two. Now, Bobby had to owe him about 600000 or something like that, the way the story goes. And I was there. I was around there. And everything's true. So he went to the Mirage, and Bobby paid him. Went to got a cage and, and, and paid him. And so then he, they made a poker game, a head-up poker game. They went upstairs, and Bobby went 400000 of his money back playing head-up poker. Well, Archie took the heat and cut the money up with the other kid, and he had like $300,000 left. And he come down, and, and he had Bobby give him a $25,000 limit on the craps. Don't worry about it. He won $6 million. Six million. Six million. Cashed out $6 million. Okay? This was the start of the greatest crap run the history of Vegas has ever seen. They want to do a movie about it. Jack Binion, he almost broke Jack Binion. He started playing and everyone barred him. Mirage wouldn't let him play because he just, they wouldn't let him play. He just wanted to bet too high. So Jack Binion put him on and made him a deal. He could bet 100000 He could bet, no, he could bet 10000 10000 on the front line with 100,000 odds and establish three numbers. That is it. He couldn't bet no more. Well, after about two months, up and down, this one didn't happen all night. He went two million, he lose four million, he went three million. And in the interim period, Harry Plattis has went home, but he's hearing all these stories. He thinks they're, they're shilling down there. He thinks this is in all the square. He thinks that they're just putting on a show to try to trap people. Really? <laughs> I mean, you know, no one's ever heard of someone winning on the crafts. Anyway, so now he's about 20 million winner, and the next day he wins 11 million. Now he's got all the chips. He he got all the five thousand dollar chips at the horseshoe in his cage. The law is if you cash the chips, then you got to pay taxes. So, but if you leave the chips there to protect the house, give him a chance to win back, you don't have to pay taxes because you're still playing. Okay, that's the law, okay? Now, Archie has got all the chips at the horseshoe. They have to borrow chips from him, call him and borrow chips. It's a true story. And and Jack Bean thinks he's getting cheated. He don't know. I mean, Archie's like a little 
suspect anyway, you know what I mean? So they got cameras everywhere, watch everywhere, he just keeps winning. At one time, Jack Benjamin said he had thirty nine million in the cage. Archie said he had fifty five million. Whatever. He's he's extracting a little money out of there. He went to Greece, bought his mother a home, he bought a better car, he bought a watch. I think that's about all he got done. And so Harry Platt comes into town and says he finds out this on the square, he goes, Mason, look, Archie says, Here's what I want you to do. You got forty million? He said, Well give the internal revenue twenty million, the state and internal revenue. Clean this money up. You give me ten million, I'm gonna invest it for you, make you a million dollars a year the rest of your life without gambling ten million, you'll always have the ten million, and the rest of your life you'll never be broke. And I'm gonna give you ten million to throw off. Now that's the right thing to do over dinner. The two Greeks are talking. Harry's a real smart guy. So Archie says to him, here's exactly the words he said. He says, okay, let me get this straight. I know if I cash your chips in, i got to pay taxes, right? Right. That's $20 million. He said, I get $10 million, right? Harry said, yeah. He said, explain to me what you're going to do with this other $10 million. Harry said, I'm going to invest in the stock market. He said, what's that? He says, companies, you know, like... General Motors. Uh, he said, if they go broke, the world goes broke. And Archie looked at him and said, no wonder you people are so stupid and lose your money all the time. you going to let those people count my money first before I count it in business? He said, screw you. I wouldn't do that in 100 years. Well, Archie lost every quarter, went back to the Ford Fair Lane, and right at this, as I'm talking to you, he's got three cue sticks and hawked to my friend. True gambler story. Are she the great? He lost the fifty million dollars. Lost it all back. All back. 